Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to another Smart Commentary and this time we are going to play some Rama in Arena. You know I like my Rama in Arena, definitely a very good god here. I feel like that he shines here because you get your items online pretty fast. And because if someone gets away with low HP and tries to get back to base you can snipe them, which is pretty good. A finishing ultimate is never a bad thing to have in your team. There are a couple of them, of course you have Nua ultimate, Ra ultimate. Uh, Ra, a little bit less of range. Rama has a good range. Thor, uh, can I come with Thoth? Definitely one that can do it. Has more range than the Ra ultimate, I think. So not a bad one. Although, nah, I think it's still better than Ra's. By the way, never mind. Let's grab that quickly. I think I have more use of the attack speed buff right now. It looks like Freya knows this as well, so she. Backs off immediately, provides me with the buff. Definitely a good choice. Um, if you are Freya, you don't have as much damage early on as you would have as a Rom, even though my basics don't even do that much just yet. Looks like there's a Loki. Oh, Loki's so dead. I think. Can we get him? Nice! First blood. Very quick pickup on that one. Uh, Loki uses invisibility, was waved way too far pushed up away from his team nice belly flop by the buggers though but my team was still coming to help and that freya whoop definitely secured that kill he couldn't run away for the time being and that allowed my team to close in and get the first blood to our kui which is not a bad thing kui fat kui is scary <laughs> that's probably one of the most scary gods in the game a fat kui okay um who on the opponent's side do I need to be careful for? Probably everyone. Yeah, probably everyone. Um, my fight against Artemis, if she plays it well, is very, very difficult. She can use her ultimate to force out my ultimate, lay a trap down where I will land. Will provide a lot. Ooh, that was a good snipe. Hades takes a good amount of damage. Oh, I take a good amount of damage as well. Let's pop that health potion, try to survive. Still want to try and kill them though. Come on. That shaking is so annoying. Oh, I, I screwed that up. That shaking is so annoying. The fact that Bacchus perk can shake your screen in midair really annoys me. It's not the worst. <sighs> I mean, can't really do a lot about it. But the fact that it is in the game is pretty annoying and interesting at the same time. It definitely is effective against Rommel. Not gonna lie. But I did mess up my second shot. I feel like I should definitely should have hit that one. And I flicked my third shot way too much. Let's try to get those last hits. Decent damage. Box is quite tanky. Doesn't look like I can reach him. Artemis quite low on HP. Nice whoop. We'll provide some time. Can we get her? Yes, you cannot body block my Asteroids. And Hades falls down for it as well. He tried to body block for the Artemis. Valiant effort. But it's not going to do anything for him. Since I did have... I think I have like 5 or 4 Ustle Arrows, so definitely way too much. Way too much for them to deal with. Um, I want to try out a little bit of a different build this time. Usually I go Ikeval into uh, Asi into Kins. But I don't really want to get Ikeval because I feel like I want to get my items online quicker. So I'll just try something else this game. Does Loki attack? No, it doesn't look like he attacks. We can do some damage. Forcing out the ultimate, definitely nice. Oh, that was a very good Hades ultimate. Double kill is probably going to happen here. Although our Kui is very tanky, surviving that for a very long time. Freya catching that ultimate for me. I think I would have died if that ultimate hit me. That was actually a very good one. I stood next to the uh, Freya and that definitely allowed me to survive a little bit longer. I'm not sure if I would have died because I had Sanctuary, but I definitely would have been forced into Sanctuary and maybe even died afterwards. Jump in by the blockers. He's very slow. He's taking a lot of damage. I do have my ultimate if it comes to it. Doesn't look like it's necessary. And let's just roll. Make sure that these minions don't pass the portal. Stun onto me. Oh, wow. That did more damage than I expected. What is he building? What? I think, oh yes, yeah, he has Book of Toth and he has Pamboos already. So that explains a lot. No, minion. 
Okay, got him. <laughs> Don't want that l one single minion get through. That might actually cost us the game. It is. It had ha words. It has happened to me. If you lose by one point, it can definitely be because of that. Uh, doesn't have to be, of course, because the last 10 points you don't lose any for the regular minions. Except for when they go through the portal, so... Yeah, I don't know. So far, so good. We're ahead by a good amount, considering we aren't really ahead in kills by a lot. Only one kill ahead. Hades ultimate is used there. I don't really want to be stuck inside of that. I can go for ultimate. Does Oh, I didn't expect it to hit that. Decent damage. Not really worth it though. I didn't think she was. I think I actually thought that the uh, pulls would have been uh, completed already, but I guess it lasted just a little bit longer. So a little bit of mistiming there, kind of wasting my ultimate. But it does force out Artemis a little bit, forcing her back to base. So at least they won't fight afterwards, and at least the Artemis didn't put the trap down beneath me. So I hope that doesn't happen this game. That's so annoying. That's actually a very good counter. I feel like uh, in the Ra in the Rama Artemis matchup, Rama does doesn't really have a lot onto Artemis. The only thing that's really troublesome for Rama or for the Artemis is when Rama his hits all the shots with his ultimate while she's already decently low. So if she uses her ultimate too late, oh he actually didn't stop me my back. Um, if he uh, does enough damage and then goes into the sky. He has the great opportunity to kill them Okay, let's go for the executioner. I feel like getting penetration wouldn't be the worst Looks like I am fine for now If I oh those wiggles I missed literally everything. Oh crap Well That was bad if I actually hit the Hades properly then he not only would have died at this stage already but also he might not have uh, engaged to begin with. Not quick enough though to save the Freya's life, unfortunate. Um, but yeah, if if I hit some shots, I don't think it would have turned out the way it did. Because that Hades leaped in and used his silence. And if he's had like one or two basic attacks away from death, then he won't do that of course. So, eh, a little bit unfortunate, not gonna lie. A bit disappointed. <laughs> If I hit uh, with my one activated as well, then I will be able to just completely shred uh, through him because he will be slowed. Only a little bit, but can definitely help. Thought used. Nice, nice cleanse. But I still took a lot of damage. Bit unfortunate, but that's fine. I can just grab some more attack speed. I'll go for Kins next. Maybe I'll go so into some crit then or more lifesteal. Depends on what I want. I think that a Blood Forge wouldn't be too bad if I get enough gold for it. Kind of depends on how much gold I get. But that can definitely help out a lot since they rely on their damage a lot. It does look like the Loki engages. If he does, then he has to use his ultimate to get out. This thought is using his dash aggressive a lot. But as long as he does that from a safe distance, it doesn't really matter. But it's, it is something that you need to be, well, not so much aware of, but you can use it to... Wow, he got destroyed. Uh, it's definitely something you can use to your advantage. If he uses his dash. Ooh. Let's see if we can do some damage to the Loki. I don't know where he went. Ah, Lokis are so annoying. Not sure where he went. I think he went to the left side. But I don't really want to chase. I don't think... Yeah, there he is. I don't think my ultimate can finish him. Because he can just use his ultimate to counter it. And I have to hit all the shots to have a chance at it. Hey, this might go for ult. Oh no. This is bad. No. That Bacchus belly flop was so painful. He actually hit me as I dashed. So it wasn't only that I didn't go anywhere with my dash, aka out of the Hades ultimate, but I also wasn't able to. Does the Freya get it? Doesn't look like she gets it. Unfortunate. Um, let's see if we can. Uh, that, lo that Loki is so annoying. I can try to chase, but it's still a Loki. We'll just. Oh, nice. Uh, we'll just turn invisible and try to get away again. Especially. Uh, I shouldn't flop when he. Or I shouldn't roll when he flops. That's my bad. It will just put myself in an awkward spot. Wow. I'm getting destroyed. Why am I following this Bologna? That fight wasn't good for us. 
That's my bad. I wanted to deal some damage to the Bacchus, but don't commit too hard onto him. Oh well, it's fine though. Um, but they are destroying me. They have so much burst damage. I need to be a little bit more aware of that. Although they did use another ultimate on me with the Artemis ult. But since the Bologna died as well, still not worth it. We're down a little bit. A couple of points. That's fine though. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, we're like, I don't know, five points down? Four points down, wave to wave. With four kills difference. So we've been able to kill the wave very efficiently. Not getting any last hits for our minions to make sure that we get that reduction on the ticket. Or the reductions on the ticket. Hades might jump in. I kind of want to keep him away for a bit. Or the Artemis. Looks like the Bacchus goes for the ultimate on me. I'm not sure why. Nice. Whoop. Wow. Well. That just happened. I hate Toss sometimes. <laughs> Toss does so much damage. Such a naughty god. Especially late game. I mean, it already does 900. He's not even level 20. He has still... Let's just finish him off. Annoying prick. <laughs> I'll get my revenge, dang it. That's fine though. Decent damage. And of course she crits me. It makes sense. She has. I think she's going for crit build at least. It's very common for Artemis, especially with the rage. Not sure what I think. How I need to. How I feel about rage yet. I feel like rage can be very good, but also be very very bad if you don't get stacks, which makes it a little bit more difficult. But I guess it is a very cheap uh, crit item. I mean, it's the same price as the poison star, which is quite cheap. Decent damage. Oh crap. Let's use Sanctuary to avoid some of the damage. They might jump on me. Let's just head back. Not risk it at all. Get that Blood Forge. I do want to get the Blood Forge. Let's see if we can hit through the wall. Decent damage through the wall. Yeah, we got that. Okay. I don't really want to go for the Loki. Um, not only if I roll onto the Loki, uh, he can go invisible, turn on me. But. Nice trap. Um, but he can also just buy a lot of time for himself just to run, run away, juke out, and. <sighs> Looks just so annoying. To deal with, to play. I don't like to play them either. I don't know where he is. Let's just ignore him for now. He can. St I think he can one shot me if he does it well. If he casts his three early, so he can use his three another time when he uses his ultimate. Oh, unfortunate. Um. So he can use his uh, three two times. He can definitely kill me with one ultimate. I do have my purification beat, so if I'm quick enough, I can roll away. But yeah, I don't know. Loki's so annoying. <laughs> Nobody likes to play against Loki. Nobody does. There are only a couple of matchups where I feel like it's not that bad to play against a Loki. If you're Nox, it's not that bad. Because if you hit him with your silence while he goes invisible, then you completely destroy him. Uh, another one is maybe uh, Hoji because you can mark him and make him visible for yourself. Another one might be. Uh, let's see if we can get this quickly. Yes, we can. And another one is maybe AMC. AMC is not the best one because he can't protect himself if he gets focused by the. Uh, let's see if we can go for Loki. Decent damage. Can I hit some more shots? I guess I can't. Don't really want to risk it. Let's just use Purification Beats. Get out. Get some mana back. Since I used my mana too much. Kind of had to. Nice commitment on the Loki. And they will be able to get him. Nice stun by the Thoth. That does say me that he is uh, dashes down. So he will play a little bit safer. That's definitely something that can be useful. Ooh, that healing is actually very good. Nice ultimate by the Zone Quay. And... I think they got that. I can definitely dash in to try and help out. I can snipe if I need to. Let's just go for a snipe. Oh, never mind. How got it? Decent damage on the Hades, but that's not going to be enough. That Loki damage, though. Get destroyed. If I had mana and more guts, I probably would have gone for the kill. <laughs> I didn't have enough mana to dash, though, so it's not really worth it. Let's refresh my buff. Give Freya the red buff. She's been doing a lot of work in these fights. 
She's also quite high in level. Well, actually, everyone is high in level. It's Arena. Oh, by the way, this is still before the uh, latest patch where they increase the cost on Hasten Fatalis. This definitely screws up my Poseidon build. I used to build Hasten and Fatalis fourth item on Poseidon, but I don't feel like it's that strong anymore. Uh, I think it's a little bit too expensive. That's annoying. I'm not going to fight into that. I'll just completely destroy myself if I do that. I need to be a little bit careful. Let's just head back quickly. Uh, Toth has his snipe. He is a bit occupied, but Loki is still around, so... Probably would have been safer to just run away, but... I had vision on everyone, so I felt like I can just back there. Still risky though, not gonna lie. Sometimes it's better to just go walk back to the base. I think Loki is somewhere here. Oh, there he is. Got destroyed. Let's go for the Toth instead. He has used his dash. He will definitely fall down. The question is when. And I will be able to pick him up. See if we can get the pockets as well. Yes, we can. Nice. That's two kills. Next target is going to be the Artemis. She's trying to get to the Freya. And she's definitely distracted. And that's a quad. Oh, this is a Penta. This can definitely be a Penta. Let's see if we can go for the Hades. Good damage. Not a lot of time. Come on. Nice. Got it. <laughs> definitely worth it. I don't care I died. That was. That's always worth it. Dying for a Penta. <laughs> you can never go wrong with dying for a Penta. Nice. <laughs> and I have Ace of Fatalis. This is definitely looking up. We are going to win this, no matter what happens next. I think we are going to win this. Doesn't matter if we lose either. I have a penta. Nice. It's been a while. <laughs> Sweet. Wow, nice aim. Hit that Loki so many times invisible and destroyed him. That did so much damage. Like 500 per shot or something. Freya's nuts. I think that Freya will have a rough time now. With the Hasten and Fatalis being so much more expensive. This might also hurt Kali a little bit. Where are you, Loki? Oh, there you are. Let's see if we can get something going. Loki goes for Freya. Gets destroyed. We need one more kill. We can definitely get it if we go for the bugs, I think. Come on. Let's go for the Artemis instead. One more shot. Come on. Oh, okay. I thought I had it, but meanwhile, the uh, Hades got killed by our hell. Oh, that's fine too. If I didn't miss that shot, then I would have finished the game, but that's fine. 13, 6, and 10. Not the best. Uh, oh, what, who am I kidding? That was just great. I died a couple of times where I felt like it was just a little bit too aggressive, maybe. Or just underestimated the damage the opponents had a little bit too much. But I did a lot of damage as well. That Toth damage though, 39k above everyone else, even above me. But that's definitely, you can see it on this build, he has so much damage. Book of Toth, Pen Boots, Bancrofts, those three items alone give you so much power. And he has Obsidian Charge and Relative of Duty with that. And to top it all off, Divine Rune to counter the hell. I feel like he should have gotten the Divine Rune earlier though. Not gonna lie, I think that the third item of Divine Rune wouldn't be that bad. Just because we are with a hell. Who has heals? Bologna has heals on a 3 if she attacks enough. So Quay has self-heal with his 1-2 combo. Freya has in inherent just lifesteal a lot. And she has the Bancrofts. And I have built double lifesteal. I think that they could have gotten a lot more out of it. Um, if this Toth got it earlier. Because he can apply a lot easier than Hades. Hades has it as a third item. But I feel like Hades isn't the best god to provide it. Um, he, Hades has to commit to use it and he, he usually he only commits when he has his entire kit up and once it's used then yeah what are you going to do next it will last for a while but I don't know I feel like that could have been better for them to help them out Hades probably should have gone for eh, I don't like the gem of isolation on him I'm not sure why he got it I don't think it's a good item on Hades at all um, because it if someone can get out of your ult it's not going to do anything it will only help if you hit them with the one. So they will be more likely to be inside of a minion wave. But if you one and two immediately, they will still be inside the minion wave unless they have a dash. So, I don't know. I don't like his build. I don't think it's the best build. Um, as for the Loki, yeah, Loki's build's fine. A lot of power, decent pen. As for Bacchus, a lot of protections. 
decent amount of power and cool, full cooldown reduction. I like his build. Definitely not bad. I like pen boots on Bacchus a lot more though. But I like to go very aggressive as Bacchus. So I guess that's just my playstyle. As for the Artemis. Not sure why she went for Kins. Um, we do have a Bologna and his own Quay of course. Who are pretty tanky. I'm not sure if it was just to deal with them. Because that's not a bad idea. But by going into the Devourers. Uh, Devourers in Arena is always a bit... Eh, don't like it that much. But by going Devourers. I feel like Devourers grid build is works better with Executioner. Instead of Kins. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Pento! And as always, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.